Are you fed up of having to change your password when logging into Windows every so often? Well, we have the answer for you. Stick around. All the details coming up shortly. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. On some systems, it's going to ask you to change your Windows login password every so often. It's usually about once every 42 days. It's annoying. I know it's security, but nevertheless, it's annoying. So today we're going to go through a way of disabling this enforced change. Now, I should say that if this is a company computer that you're using, then please make sure you get the permission from the company before you do this. So, OK, I'm going to click on the OK button here and it's going to ask us to put in a new password. So let's just put in a new password and it wants us to confirm the password. OK, and then I'm going to hit enter and it says there you go your password has been changed it's very easy but it's just annoying that you have to keep changing your password now this also works in windows 10 as well as windows 11 but i should say before we start this actually applies to local accounts so if you're not sure what type of account you've got then click on the start button click on settings and then go into accounts and here under your username, you should see what type of account it is. If yours says local account, then you're OK to proceed. If it says it's a Microsoft account, now that's a different story. We might go over that one day in another video. So if you're running Windows 10 or Windows 11 professional, then just click on the start button and then just type L-U-S-R-M-G-R dot M s c and then you'll get this l u s r m g r m s c microsoft common console document appear under best match left click that once now as i'm running windows 11 home it tells us that we can't actually use this on a home version but don't worry i'm going to show you how you can do this on home versions pro users hang fire just while i go through this step so shut this down and then we want to open your browser. So I'm just going to open up Edge, go to the address bar at the top of the screen, delete out anything that might be in there and then just type in there cwtek.co.uk forward slash WD, just as it's shown on the screen. Pause this video if you need to make a note of this. Once you've typed that in, then press enter or return on your keyboard. If you've typed the correct page into your browser, then you should see this. So just scroll down until you see Windows Admin Tools. And what you're looking for there is Local User and Group Management for Windows Home 10 stroke 11. Left click once on that. If any adverts come up, just close them down. And then you should come to this page here. And what you're looking for is this section over here on the right. Underneath releases, you're looking for LUSR MGR and there'll be a version number there. Mine currently shows 1.6.3, but yours might change as new releases come out. So left click once on that and then scroll down and you want to move your mouse over the LUSR MGR.exe and left click once on that too. That will now download. Hopefully shouldn't take too long because it is quite a small file. And then we just want to close down the browser by clicking on the cross in the top right hand corner. Open any yellow folder and then we're looking for download. So left click downloads there and then we want to double left click LUSR MGR. And if this comes up, click yes. And here is the local user manager, just as you would see on Windows 10 or 11 Pro. So Windows 10 or 11 Pro users, wakey, wakey, you're back to the same screen or roughly the same screen as what you would see on your computer after you typed in that lusrmgr.msc in your start menu. So just double click on users and then find your username there, double click on that and then click on the password tab at the top of the screen. And here you can see you've got a box 
just to the left of password never expires. Now that hasn't got a tick on it. If I click the little box just to the left of that, there you go, that puts a tick in password never expires and it means the password will never expire. You can also do some other great things in here with user account passwords, but to be quite honest with you, I would say stick on the safe side, leave everything else as it is because you could end up locking yourself out of your account and that's something you really don't want to be doing. So click on apply and then click on OK and then click on the cross just up there in the top right hand corner and there you go. You can, if you want to, go back to the downloads folder and delete that LUSR MGR just by right clicking on it and then left clicking either delete if you've got Windows 10 or click on the bin at the top of the screen if you've got Windows 11. And there you go. That guide showed you how you can stop your PC from nagging you to change your password. I hope you like this video and if you did consider hitting that thanks button and making a donation to this channel or if you can't do that then have a look in the description down below. We've got some great links down there for you to various things including my Amazon shop which contains all the things I love at the moment on Amazon, Fire TV sticks, Fire TV cubes and VPNs. Buying, subscribing and donating really does help support this channel. It helps me to be able to dedicate more time to spend researching to bring you these great videos. And whilst you're at my YouTube channel, why not stick around? I've got thousands of other videos for you right here, right now, covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully whilst you're here, you're going to find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some time and money. And if you do see any videos that you think your friends, your family or your work colleagues might like to see, then please don't forget to share these videos on your social media timelines. You can check me out on X. I'm at CWTEK. You can also check out my website. It's CWTEK.co.uk. Thanks for watching and speak to you again soon.